you so much for looking at our channel and continuing in our path to, to share the knowledge of the school. Today, we are here in Valencia. Giovanni is doing his research and his study in the ways of the school. And today we have been studying a very interesting concept that from an anthropological point of view has been fascinating because uh, it comes from the idea, from the concept to trap or to catch another soldier when you don't have enough time to make uh, elaborated strategy and when you have to react really fast. This concept is called Toyikone, that's come from imprison, and the particular path that we're going to study for, for this concept is called Heishi Osai. Heishi is for the soldier and Osai to trap, to, to catch, to imprison, to imprison the soldier or the strategy or the techniques of uh, uh, to imprison a soldier. Uh, this uh, technique has two, two variations that come from the position of the arms of the opponent. If the, if the hands of the opponent are going to be parallel, uh, the comps is going to call hiri, and if the arms are going to be crossed, it's going to call kosa. The, the main idea is try to trap the energy of, of the opponent in, in a way that the opponent cannot actually uh, attack you, so you can restrain your opponent. And the best way from the biomechanical point of view is to try to avoid the, tra the, the transfer of energy from the core, from the hara. So the, the center of the strength of the body cannot uh, use the, the abdominal muscles, cannot give you a chance to, uh, to stand up or to cross or to hit or to take another weapon. Usually these techniques were done not using a big nawa, uh, that, uh, that we have been doing in, in other series of studies called Hojujutsu. In this case, we are going to, to use something that, that is called Chibatsugami, which is the, 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 the horse tires. And also, it can be, uh, be used using the Sageo, which is the cord that actually holds the ketanat and we can actually tie against our hip. So using these two main uh, ropes, or small ropes, uh, that can also mean from letter for the Chibatsugami actually, uh, you can actually develop a really quick strategy to imprison the, the opponent. So the main idea is try to, uh, to hold the hara and use the extremities, the upper extremities, to uh, actually catch your opponent and avoid to, uh, to the opponent to attack you. And another interesting part is that uh, this, 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 this was done with uh, a lot of strength and can actually be used to humiliate, humiliate your opponent because you actually can say that you are going to overcome your opponent. You, after the end of the technique, you can drop your opponent to the floor, step on him and try to, uh, to keep him in, in the floor because he's completely restrained so he cannot move or do anything else. So, from the anthropological point of view, is something that is really fast and actually uh, express the idea to have a lot of power and to overcome completely against your opponent. So in, in a few seconds, we are going to show you with different videos, uh, with different angles, we are, we are trying to explain and to, to, to express the main uh, physiological and biomechanical ideas about this. Hi. Now, with the help of Sio Giovanni, thank you so much. We're going to, to explain the first basic principles of this technique. In this case, if you can please, Sio Giovanni go say some. Thank you so much. We're going to explain the main characteristics of this uh, technique. The first thing that we're, we're trying to express is that this is something that has to be done really fast without hesitating too much. So, I'm going to explain uh, some basic concepts that are really important. In this case, I need to trap him, but he's now really stable and he, he can have a sword at the toe. So I need to uh, constrain uh, his energy. In this case, I'm going to use a downward force using my elbows. My elbows are going to trap him and I'm going to go to his clavicle, so I'm going to trap him. Now, I'm going to take again his elbows, because if I, can, if I go here, he can take another weapon. For example, if I go to, to here, he can move around. So, because I need to be really, really strong to catch him from here. So, in this case, I'm going to use my elbows, 
trap him now. Go here, and for example, I'm now going to be go back. Sorry, Shidor. Here, I'm going to do this really fast in an emergency case. I can use my ketone as a torque point that I'm going to constrain him. If I stump him really fast, if they're really strong, again his hand can break uh, the bones of his finger. And I ca can you go up? It, he's trapped because he cannot exert enough momentum using his core to go up, using his car, his hara, because he's not in the vertical line. So the body is not designed to, to be in this position. So other soldiers can help me. This is something that has to be done in a really emergency situation. The second principle here is to, instead of going backward, we're going to, do for, we're going to go forward. Same thing, go well, here, I'm going to take this out just for the sake of teaching, so I don't want to do anything or something with the zuka. Go here, trap him, go there. And this is important that I cannot go too far away because he can go up. But now I need to take his scapula with my tights and then go down. In this case, my weight are, is trapping his hara, he's trapping his core, and he's also exerting a lot of uh, forces against his legs. So he cannot exert a lot of energy to try to go up because he's completely folded. So as we are bipedals, we, need, uh, we have the capacity to go up like when we're doing squats because we align our chromiums and the and system and we can exert a lot of power, but now he's folded. So the, the, the forces are completely uh, distorted. They are not in the same line. So it will be really hard for him to go there. Then we can do several techniques that we're going to explain in a few moments. Well, now we're going to explain a first example uh, using the Chibatsugami, which are the horse drill simulated by this rope. In this case, we're going to uh, exert the forces described previously. And uh, we're going to take him, remember, elbows down, elbows, and push him, and exerting a downward force. Now, Tsukushoshi Dosh, really slow, just to avoid taking him. Now, I'm going to take his hand here. You know, Tsukusho, are, are, are you okay, Shidosh? Okay. I'm trapping him now, okay? Okay. I, I, it, it's needed to be uh, done with a lot of strength. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to hurt him. Now I'm going to push him, but he's going to help me. I'm not going to exert a lot of force. Now he's trapped here. This, this needs to be done a lot uh, tighter, but I'm not going to do that. I need, I'm going to give some space because I don't want to make him a lot uncomfortable. Now we can put his hand here, and then we can use the yute as a torque point. And I can continue doing that, doing that, doing that, and I can trap him using that. So this is a way that we can exert a lot of force. This is going to strangle him, so uh, we are trying to avoid a lot of uh, blood flow to his head. We're trapping both of his hand, his hands, and we can make uh, this position very stable for us and very comfortable for him. Okay. In this second example. We're going to use a job. Uh, in ancient times, a bamboo stick was used. Uh, the first thing, we're going to trap our enemy. We're going to exert an upward force. So uh, his, uh, all his upper part is constrained. Now, I can do this. And you can see his hand, he cannot take a sword or a tattoo. So if he tries to, to grab another weapon, it's going to be really hard for him to do. Then, I can do again the Shibatsugami, for example, I can trap his arm, and then if you can help me, I'm going to take him up. Now, I'm going to go down here, now I'm going to take him now here. So, if you can see, I'm trapping here. 
and then I can use, for example, Ajute, Tsukushoshi Dosh. I want to continue making torsion here. So you can see scapular line is completely trapped. I can continue going this, this, and this, but then I'm going to hurt him. And that's not the idea. It's just to, to look at this that diagonal force is trapping him all the strength of his back so he cannot exert any power to rotate or to articulate her big muscle that the biceps and the, um, and the shoulders cannot be used properly because the force is completely trapped. Okay, in our third sample using the Shibatsu Kami, we're going to continue using the same basic principle to go here, go here, but now, for example, in this case, he's, go uh, he's crossing his arms. This is called Gosa. Uh, this is different, for example, the best examples that all the, the, the lines were parallel, which is called Hirui. In this case, we can trap him. Sukushashidosh is going to be here. I'm going to balance him, and then I can exert force against his back and lose a lot of strength here, so he can uh, be restrained in this position. Another way to do it is instead of going forward, we can come here and then we can go backward. In this case, for example, the, the lines are parallel, so it's called Hirui. We can Tsukushashidosh, we can trap him, and then Tsukushashidosh. Please, can you put your, your head on the floor? Okay, so trap him, and now I can make a lot of strength here, restraining his shoulders, and we can actually make a lot of harm using these steps. Well, this completes our first series of examples. I'd like to thank Sir Giovanni for all his help and to give us his body for us to train and to teach you. So we really hope that this is going to be helpful and you really enjoy looking this video. Thank you so much. Thank you.